Money. Ooh. Okay, I see money. Okay, this is an exciting little box. That's a good. That's a golden one. Oh. 79 bucks for this book sealed. And there was another one that was up here in the 119. But all what I'm saying is because I the, think we have a few bands in close. Yeah, definitely. Bucks. Yeah, that's definitely. a good that's over a thousand bucks in my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates spinning in circles with me of all ages. We are here in my storage unit. Got Storage Stalker, got Black Pearl 2.0, even brought out the ugly trailer because we got to do a lot of work today. This thing is full, two pods. Ugly girls need love too. Two pods, I'm trying to think of the total we spent. 28.82, that's right. We got to film, sort, load, it's gonna be a fun day. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun day, baby. We are about to see this stuff here. Holy crap, let's close that back up. All the boxes of books here. And then we got the good stuff. Nice and flat, nice and flat. How dirty your trailer is. Yeah, how dirty your trailer is. <laughs> All right, here we are. First box of the day and I lost my knife. I'm not a fan of these these boxes with weird curvature angles so it's a seal. Not a fan. These are like office move boxes. This is a purple town. And there's another purple town. Alex is gonna dibs these right now, I can already tell. Nice. He's got a mint chocolate chip pair of shoes that will match perfectly hey, with what, you, what, you, what are you talking about? Look. They are mint chocolate chip. And the purple towel. Look, I'm matching the first Boom. two items. All right. What is this? Members only? No. Only necessary. So this looks like a closed box right off the bat. This is going to be all just straight to the flea market. A lot of white tees. We've got shirts with turtlenecks and stripes down the sides. And there's no, basically nothing else. There's no hidden treasures in here. Uh, box one. Down. This says ceramic flower will that be true will it hold true to the box i'm gonna say yeah i'm gonna go on the limb what kind of ceramic flower is the more important question at this point holy heart attack batman that is another level of packing see we got easter grass we've got shredded paper and then look more shredded paper for what a, a delicate flower I don't even want to take out of the box because it's so... Oh my gosh, here. Hold on a second, let's come back over here. Huge problem. Mm, it's Capodomonte maybe? Ah, you see what I just did? I just dropped it. It's so awkward and heavy. Oh no. It's in good shape, despite the fact that I dropped it. I don't see any chips in the things, but it is super. The Spring of Flowers by Dino Cusinelli. Of the Spring of Flowers, Capodimonte Palace, Dino Cusinelli. It is Capodimonte? It, it, well, Capodimonte is the style. It's like what this, it means. It's like how you're wearing Nike shoes, but they So that's a actually not a brand? It's not a brand. It's like a style of something. It's clay and stuff, to the best of my knowledge. Um, well, frick, I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna go like this. Put that back around there, guys. If you guys have any insight on something like Just that. Hmm? Huh? We might need that. What? The, uh, the cushion for the next. I don't want it to get damaged. That is at least a $20 bill in Alameda. Oh, that's Alameda. Where are we putting that stack here? Right there in that corner? Um, I don't know. For now, we'll just go like right here, I guess. That's the corner. Miscellaneous box. Here we go. If you want to, you could try one on my eight, and then you can see if you like it. Money! Ooh. Okay, I see money. They have these little jewelry boxes everywhere, huh? Oh. Nothing in them. The Click Christmas Dior decorations. Yeah, you put your little Christmas gifts in here. What's Bob that? Said Christmas. I don't believe that to be a drug bag. <laughs> I get a lot of heat. People like, how will you presume they're on drugs? I'm a diabetic. I don't use needles. And then I have to be like, well, I opted out of leaving the bags out of the video. 
Postcards are hot, Mike. Postcards are? Postcards. I didn't realize that until I looked them up on eBay. Oh, yeah. Did you see? You haven't seen the ones I got with Matthew, have you? No. Man, they're pretty crazy. We found one of these the other day. Cow clock? It's a cow clock. Um, We're going to find a cat clock in here, I bet you. There, there's a, like, the logging history of Oregon was that in, in postcard. Oh, the wooden one. Oh, yeah. A lot of sewing kits. I feel we're going to find a lot of knitting. And we're going to find a box of jewelry. I know that for sure. Well, it'll be hard to tell because there was two vaults. It's all they had. So they obviously moved 10 years ago. And what did they take with them? Wiener dog. Beanie baby. Wow. It's a whole little thing of dogs, maybe? Oh, another Dotson. It was cute. Okay, it's got those freaking What's reptilian this? eyes. Oh, it does. It See them reptilian evil. eyes on TikTok? Are they always showing you that? Oh, look, I said look at the whiskers. It's called a whiskers by Martha Gary. Don't you call them dash hounds? Or is it the this same thing? This thing says 1984. Yeah, that, if you notice that most of the stuff we've been finding in the few boxes we've actually went through, it was seemed to be bought in the 70s. Like 72, like the art was all... I don't know, that's been the years they was hopping. Come on, Fabergé egg. Come on, Fabergé egg. Apparently there's like seven. I got a, a, a comment from a subscriber and there's seven Fabergé eggs that haven't been found, possibly real ones. So that's something to look forward to. This is a treasure map. Seven eggs? Like real Fabergé. Fabergé eggs were like, this is like a, like you know how they call every lampshade Tiffany lamps and they're mm -hmm. not. I think to the best of my knowledge, the original ones were like made of like gold. And, and silver and gems and they're what very is there? I don't know the exact answer but I so many somebody told me the other day that there was like seven or twelve still not found. Dang. But subscribers will I mean tell that you there's anything. a low count of them then. Some of them some of them are pretty wise. Shout out to all the subscribers who know what they're talking about. Shout out to the ones that don't know what they're talking about as well too, but you're very misleading. <laughs> you're very misleading. You clickbait comments, you know? That's a million bucks. Yeah pirates you're gonna be rich and I get home all excited and it's like six bucks. Oh, it's a box of Dosh Hounds. That's one of those words I do not know how to pronounce. Can we just say wiener dog? That's what I was saying. No, that, they're they're called, uh, what I, I said earlier. It was, uh... Is that one of salt and pepper shaker? <laughs> Where's you, salt coming out? You said a Dotson. I thought it was a Dotson. A not Dotson. Oh, they're not Wiener dog? Yeah. Man. Man, look at that one. That's a long wiener dog. That's what she said. I want that wiener dog right there. This is the school project wiener dog. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> it's, a B, it's a BBD? No. Look at the dog, babe. It does kind of look... Yeah, let me just put this down. I wish his tail wasn't cracked on. Oh, here's another one. Oh, we're going to dip one each. Alex, you're getting excited by these long dogs. They're beautiful dogs. <laughs> look at the black one. That's kind of cool. If you were into these type of dogs, because you ever notice that when you buy units, that the people who own these type of dogs, they have lots of these little dog collectibles. This is not the first time I found a Dash Hound collection. Dash Hound, Wiener Dog, Pitbull. Oh. All right, well, I think we're about down to the bottom of this box. It's 2000. 2000. I want to party like it's 2000. Or is that 1999? 1999. Yeah. Okay, this is an exciting little box. That's a good. That's a golden one. This is your pen set. This is the dogs they wish they got instead of the ones that they did get. Those are nice dogs. Those are Lady and the Tramp dogs. Mm. All right. Or a Tramp Lady with her dogs. This box is marked Joan. Is it Joan of Arc? Joan of Rivers. Joan Collins. Joe Dirt. Joan on the Bayou. No, that's not a song. Joe Mama. <laughs> Oh, these might match your uh, blue pants you dipped. These, are, they really do yeah, those actually. Those are big. Those are bongo. These are bongo? Gene, uh, Geneology Newport News, okay. And then we have a Woolnet National Park. No, that was not that. That's a brand new comforter. That's probably a, a, a what? A one, what, do you, what are they ordering from on TV? QVC, it's a whole bed set. All right. Luckily, it's not a, a king. Maybe five, I have to do that. Some of these, uh, box boxes. 
Continuing on, right here, we got this box marked Joan Clothes. And we got the yellow pair of pants. We have a collection going. We've almost built a rainbow. If we would have put these all in all we sequence. Need is we're not done. We have brown, and I don't I don't think I would like dark brown in my, my rainbow. I want bright colors, so we can't use that one. Remember when these used to always just show on your door? Like, oh look, there's a phone. We used book. to burn them in our fireplace. You did? You ever put one on your like seat so you could see over the windshield? Bro, dude, look at that. That's an outfit right there. I just made that an outfit. That is not an outfit. One is orange and one is This yellow. is 1984 right there. That, that doesn't, that doesn't work. No? The that's probably why Jess says I don't dress very well because that's how I match. I feel if you just have uh, every color on, then you, you match. Every color. Yeah. Every color, then you match. Baby, hear this guy? This is kind of cool. I can see, uh, honestly, these are almost kind of trendy things. Like we have, I don't know how much clothes we want to bring, but that might actually sell and I would need it for five, 10 bucks. Like this is like one of those sweaters that seems like the women are wearing these days. That and like some real skin tight uh, yoga pants. Maybe this one as well. See what I'm talking about? No, no. I can see that one with some high water blue jeans on. Oh, it's, yeah. it's some dirty cowboy boots. That seems to be Alameda the, that's the that look in Alameda, you know what I mean? Like. Like brand new. And super thick shoes to make them taller. Brand new, like $300 leggings and the ugliest, dirty, beat up pair of boots. Like that's the look now. I don't know. Comment below if you like that look. I'm looking for a bike. A bike? A bike. A bike. There's pretty good burritos up the street. I don't like Go to Fresh Touch, you'll find something there, but I would just recommend going there. Because that the, it's like right, that place right there where I used to eat at all the time. The salads. 1914, that sounds like a possible World War I book. These are almost interesting books. One Day in the Life of Ivan Danish. This guy's a vlogger, but it was a book. Day. He was ahead of his time. The Gulag Archipelag, there's, they were into some weird, uh, some, some deep topics I feel. Mr. Clemens. You can tell a lot about a person by their book because their books speak on what they want to think about, read about, the psychology of their brain, the great betrayal, wow. It's a book of divorce. Uh -huh. It's a book of divorce and cheating. Is that what it's about? No, it looks like actually a book <laughs> it looks on like war. war. <laughs> but you can say that, huh? The European discovery of America. What's the debatable topic? The rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. All right, this is where they get the uh, the theory, uh, the Napoleon complex, is from this man right here. Go ahead. I would imagine it's not going to be much Ten because months. of the paper on the outside, but. Well, paper on the outside is less. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an expert. Eight dollar book. All right. Do you want it? No. You can do it. I'll give it to you for a buck right now. I'll give it to you for 50 cents. Quarter. I'll let you have it and I won't even ask any questions. You know what? I'll pay you a dollar to take that. All right. <laughs> I ain't paying you nothing. I'm a money maker right here, so give me a dollar. They're kind of like a foo foo place. I don't know how to explain it. They're not like, it's, it's really good products they use, but it's a little different. Joy. That's what this storage unit is bringing me right now. Bon Appetit. Better homes. Spring is coming. Ooh, yeah. That looks so delicious. Hey, baby. It's a book. Is it? For Ava. Hmm. We have so many books. The Red Badge of Courage by Stephen Crane. What do you think? It's sealed. Is that sellable? You want a barcode scan that? Ain't no barcode on that. Oh, you could Google it. Wisteria wall decor. Oh, uh, you know what these sound like? Mm. They sound like the cow. Or the clack, the cat clock I've been looking for. A cat clock? No, I'm saying there's gonna be a cat clock in this unit. Oh, okay. There's another one. These are fine leather bound books. Paradise Lost by John Milton. No, you don't want to Google that one either. The receipts in there. One for each of us. What is that? You want dibs one without looking? Ooh, I'll take the closed one. That one's close. Oh, that one's, they're both open. We played our show. I, I, I knew what you, I knew the answer already. I was just going to let you play yourself. <laughs> There's a choice you were willing to make. I, look, it's got a stamp. The Dark Horse. Isn't that a song? No, it's not. Jackson. I'm coming at you like a dark horse. No, I'm, I'm don't can't think of the right words. Okay, what do we got here? 24 karat gold. Oh yeah. Dollar. Is that a 24 karat gold? No. But it is a nice quarter though. 
These are, um, remember the, the box you opened the other day and I was like, that's gonna have the quarter set or a dollar set. These are dollars. So we need to find these right here. What are those? 1922, this, mine had, my box had two of these in it. Oh yeah? yeah? What box? I mean, this little thing I just opened. Oh. But luckily I picked the right one. Oh. Oh. Just realized there was another one. The stalker got over you. <laughs> There's three of them now, we're up to three bucks. So this box has three dollars in profit so far, plus two leather bound books. Okay, this could be a cat clock. No way. You don't tell me I called it. The styrofoam is disintegrating as I speak. Ooh. Ooh flowers. Hold on a second. Candles or flowers? What are they? Uh, lavender? You know who's not smell good anymore. You just... Uh... Oh. Ooh. Ah. So it makes a wall decor and you hang all these beautiful little pieces around and they all hang yeah. out. They like big lots. Maybe they sold stuff like this somehow. I don't maybe know. They, maybe they sold at the market or something. Maybe they were going to build a garden one day and they just... Oh, wait. This is designed exclusively. It's a Christmas thing. It looks like what the decorates. Vets first. It's weird stuff. Like, what is this? You just go to one of our Chinese dolls that we, we saw in the styrofoam. Could or be. Geisha dolls. Geisha doll outfit? Bro, this is so weird. Like, I don't even know. Here's another one. It's almost like they were it got stuff one step above a Excusely for collections, etc. Do we sell this in Stockton or do we take this to Alameda? I'm not scared to take this to Alameda. Me neither, but it looks kind of cheap, doesn't it? I did a quick little research because that's the whole point of what we're doing today. We're taking our time. Stuff you don't usually see all the time on our videos. This is kind of off-camera stuff, but this is what we do. A little woman's messaging me there. Shout out to the little woman. 79 bucks for this book sealed. And there was another one that was up here in the 119s, which I'm not going to use that as a reference. I, I could clickbait and say this is a $10,000 box of books, though. Book. But I'm not like that. How do you know? You Google it? You want to show it? 119 is that what's 1999 nice where are you gonna list it i'm saying i'm seeing these be a good 50 60 bucks a piece in a fast sale possibly because books are a pretty pretty uh what's the right word i don't want to say generalized it's, portrait it's, of a killer this is what i'm doing guys to, make uh, that to see what we got going on you see we got like, the books and since they are like newer books i've just been going to my ebay scan I know a lot of people do Amazon, but I've just been to my eBay scan and this is popping up. Three, four, five bucks a book. I could just list it right now for like two bucks. All right, I'm gonna do up this quick box and then I'm gonna take five and I'm gonna let you get into a couple boxes. Ooh, the Da Vinci. I'm gonna Great. rub them down to the club real quick. Take my van. Didn't they look really old? The guy driving looked about to be 106. Can't say nothing without That's somebody nice, getting Mike. offended these days, you know? That's a nice sweater. Nope. Oh, 1982? No, I wouldn't say 1982, but I would, I'll would. i tell you right now, we put that on a hanger in Alameda. Oh, dang it. It's all right. It's nothing big. I, we could still get 10 for it, but I was thinking a good 20, 25 bucks on that. Alameda. Will of Time Saga Series, lot number three. Will of Time is $47 for these three books. And I just found a whole bin full of them. The gold Christmas ornament collection I just found. Please Ooh. be, please be Disney. Oh, oh, beautiful. But you know what? We probably have these. I have some of those at home. I got one blue one at home that I found recently. I just looked up one of these a minute ago, and these are pretty much big bucks. The red badge of courage. Okay. I hope, how are you guys enjoying this so far? I'm, enjoy, I'm enjoying this unit. It's a little more exciting than some of them. For me personally, I've been doing this since the dawn of time. Like literally, I, I was doing the storages before there was trendy things like following other YouTubers, doing it and jumping in because you saw. So I mean, I, I was I was one of the original storage buyers. I've been doing this since the dawn of time. And uh, I get bored with storage units. I get bored real quick. I've found so many things. I mean, I've had so many good and bad units. It's like I've opened to, I've opened over a million freaking boxes. After a while, it becomes boring and trivial. So I get lost. And I want to apologize to anybody right now. When you guys watch and it seems like I'm in that zone, I'm a storage buyer first. I'm always have been and always will be. The storage business is what pays 
my bills and feeds my children and as well as most of my friends because most of my friends are not youtubers they are real genuine under the radar storage buyers and i uh i belong to the business so you know um it's nice when you get a nice unit and it's fun to go through the box it makes it more exciting whereas when it's boring it's like we got a lot more to go i'm gonna take five we'll be back in a minute he's gonna start filming i can't change my ways and you have a wife so you have a, so to hold the camera i need to get detail i need to see everything in the box people want to see that This one says wood sewing basket. So they must have really appreciated this sewing basket. It says fragile arrows. It's got sheets. Another one of these. No, that's not one of those. That's very vintagey though. Look at that. That's like 1980. That's a nice skirt, Mike. That's a very nice skirt. You guys should Jamming. try that one on. I'm not trying that on. <laughs> I don't think it'll fit me. I really Mike, don't. that waist is intact. Like if you try to fit it on, like see? If you try to fit it on, it ain't gonna fit. Um, yeah, I guess, probably, I, guess I'll try this You guys on. ever watch Sesame Street? I guess I'll right? try this one on Mike. There's a guy on Sesame Street. He always did this. He'd be like, sturdy fishy, sturdy fishy. <laughs> That's the, uh, the, what you call it guy, right? The yeah. <laughs> sturdy fish. Oh, I can't fit this. Oh, you shouldn't sorry. even have This is actually on. good vintage, though. It is. I don't even want to rip this thing. I yeah. say we, we really put, we, we put the clothes aside for Alameda. We're going hard this Sunday. It's our last Alameda of the year. Like this right here, I can promise you that some really small woman, and now me is gonna like, that's a, a very small woman. Look at that, what is she, a size negative three? Like, small but that. baggy. Like, how do you fit in that? Small but baggy, you see that? That would fit a Naya. That's how small It's actually very was. nice. Yeah, but look at that waist. Yeah, Whoa, she must have been a small she woman. She was a petite little lady. Women had really small waists. If feels I like a lived headband. back then, oh. they'd probably call me a fatty. You know what, she made all this. You think? Yeah. I don't think so. They have tags on. Let's look. It just looks like that. But all, what I'm saying is, because I the, think we have a few bands in clothes. Yeah, definitely. A few thou wow. Hunted out. Look at the shoulder puff store on that one. Ooh. Women love their shoulder Maybe you should puff. try one of these on. I'm okay. What? You said that's scared. <laughs> this is nice, too. Oh, I'm all right. That's this one's actually a very little nice. bigger. No, it ties. I like this because it's easy access. You know, you just walk up. That's what you call it. Untie it, no? No, that's no. a, oh, that's an apron. <laughs> that is not an apron. That's an apron. Oh, Mike, that is an apron, sweetheart. Sweetheart. <laughs> this is a good one. Made in Italy, imagine. That's the, a good vintage brand. Oh, Man, and that that's a tie too. too. Oh yeah, I like those type of clothing. Very revealing. Oh yeah, you guys got a good Alameda. Ooh, is that silk? Ooh, that's for teeny. No, it is Roel Original. That is, look at the tags on that though. Look at the aging on that. Ooh, we're gonna have fun oh, at Alameda, huh? That's nice. Oh, it's a freaking zip up. Yeah. Look at that, you Boy, can that's step a nice into it. nice dress. Wow. wow. Don't even try to unzip it. I'm not going to, I was, wow. I will ruin it. So we'll pretty much That was put, a hot color in the 70s. This was? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a tube top? No. That's a skirt. It could be. Nowadays, tough. That's what I'm talking about. It's not a two. That's a, it's a headband. It's just enough for the You're nipples. You're not even covering the nipples at this point. Well, I have small nipples. <laughs> You're not covering mine with that thing. That's Julie like, Miller. Like silk. This is like, uh, I don't know. I can see some pretty woman with. Hopefully, a, she kept her jewelry box in the bottom bob. of her clothes. I'm I'm impressed with the clothes. These are like They're bell nice. bottoms. I'm wondering where this wood it's sewing like, basket like is. like the '70s. She just. Literally, this oh. looks like a couch this on the Brady Bunch. This box hops straight out of the 70s and yes, into your is. storage unit. Oh, it is a moo moo. Smells like grandma, too. All right, let's see if there's anything under here underneath. Oh, we got tags. That's what I like to see right there. It's a skirt. No price on it? No, I don't even think that's the original. Maybe it is. Looks like a dry cleaning receipt. Size 14. Oh. I want to see what a size 14 looks like. Corduroy's making a comeback right here. Corduroy's never went away, really. It's crazy how the size has got Look at this one. bigger, huh? It's got little roses. Paul Cressel. Paul Cressel. I think we got a few thousand easily in clothes. If they keep being like this, yes, sir. See if we get down to the bottom of this box a little bit. Oh, that's Look nice. Look at this one. It looks like polo, Mike. St. Patty's Day is coming, it huh? It looks like some old school polo. It's got the Union tag. Those, whenever you see these tags, that's good vintage because that's made in America, Union. They used it for work, huh? 
Well, no, I'm. It's like their work clothes. Union workers. Yeah, like this yeah. was made by like when clothes was made when we had unions and oh, stuff back the when unions we, the we were a powerful yeah. economy yeah. like that. I remember when I used to get a pop for a quarter. Be? You do? Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what's funny though? I sound old when I say it, but I remember going to the store and, getting and literally getting a a burrito. A bag of chips for two dollars and fifty cents. No, a burrito, a bag of chips, and two sodas. Yeah. Wow. No, for a dollar. Oh, I used to get it for two things. I don't remember because the one, the, the only thing that was really cheap when I was a kid, the cheapest thing was like a pack of gum was twenty five cents. It was a big burrito no, too. No, no, I'm talking about go to Foods Co. You get the one single burrito for twenty five cent. Oh. Then you get the twenty five cent bag of chips, mm -hmm. and then you go out front and you get the two twenty five cent sodas out you the are machine. Right. You are right. Then go across the street to the motel we lived in, mm -hmm. and I warm it up in the microwave. <laughs> You lived in a hotel? Yeah. We were in a car. I was in a motel for a while. We were in a car for a while, too. Yeah, I've been in all this. I was mad right when we moved in. They closed the pool down. Oh, man. Yeah, and they filled it in with rocks. Oh, man. It's because we moved in. They said, there went the neighborhood. <laughs> That's a, is that leather? I remember we used to get, uh, on nice. Pittsburgh, used to be the 39 cent cheeseburger. Ooh, 29 cent cool. hamburger. Oh, shaft. Yeah. That's kind of a nice... That so looks like whoever wore it's not, that. It's like, oh, I thought it was leather. It's not. It's like, like a silky silk. leather. Yeah. Look, what it's got that? wings. The little buttons are nice if she on wears too. that, she'll kick your... I could tell you that this is type... We probably asked like 40 on that at Alameda. I don't want to lose all this. I don't see a wooden basket in here yet. That's fine. I Indeed. see some amazing clothes, though. Mm -hmm. You know who's gonna? I can I I can already tell you who's <laughs> gonna try to buy a lot of this. Is one thing that's what makes Alameda so so vast and powerful is like for example um buyers fly in from japan to buy vintage clothes like they come just for this and this is a lot of stuff i could see that they would take back to japan yeah. well, it's just wait. because how it's made and the material you're not finding those are nice anymore. shorts mike and it's kind those of those are really nice they, shorts well, yeah. i guarantee you those are gonna be one of the first things we sell i think a lot of this is gonna sell it's the style of it because it's very Ooh, it's very similar dusty. style. Cool. No, there's really not a wooden box in there. Well, that Ooh. tells you that the box. Leisure are lovers, the stuff in California. This one's gonna be an, that's a twenty dollar bill, I think, right there. And don't get mad at us if you don't like our prices. We also don't try to overprice because we want to sell. The best way to make money in our business is to repeat business, repeat buyers. And the only way you're gonna have repeat buyers is if you're giving them room to go? make money. It does. You got a nice outfit, Mike. This one's nice right here. Oh yeah, it's a jacket to go. Ooh, yeah. This is like nice a. Uh, this is a. I swear everything we good see for right voting here time. was from that '70s show. Imagine you're going to vote and this is your TikTok dress. Hey guys, I just voted. This is good, hot right here too. Pinup girl style, right? Mm -hmm. So do 50s, people actually put your hair wash up? this or probably hand wash it or don't even do that? No, they probably wash it. But honestly, Diane like von Neustenberg, Paris and Korea. That's a weird combo. Well, because you have to think there's particles really from the actual 70s on the clothing, no? That could be true. There's some unique clothes here. This is a, this is nice. I like when the clothes is at least appealing. Because like the last couple years I've been in, I opened the clothes box. I don't want to show none of the clothes. This is like all one we solid box of We just went to Time Capsule right now. Oh, For yeah. real? Look at that. With some pla oh. I think this is the exact <laughs> with sweater some, uh, with that some Uncle platform, Michael had bro? in his high school photo. <laughs> it makes you just want to jump into the 70s. I think he had this with those brown Dickies bell bottoms looking vinyl pants. I remember his You guys high should do a TikTok photo. where you're in regular clothes and then bam. Back to life. Those are nice clothes. That's a good 30, 40 bucks possibly. No, it's... It's slightly used, so that's what detours me from wanting to ask them. I could say 15, 20 real confidently, though. Will you ever notice that part of a sale is your confidence? Like, mm. like when you tell somebody like a hundred, but you're like not confident when you say it, they kind of laugh at it. But when you, when you're confident in your yeah. pricing, it's easier. To you sell. know what I like to do is say the price and walk away. <clears throat> like you don't even care. Yep. Yeah. That's a two hundred bucks. You walk away like, sir, what? I'm. I need to make a sale. What do you want? That's rude. Uh. As a Corey told me, the 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 lady. <laughs> Wow. Um, in Stockton and <laughs> Oakland. She told me the other day, she's like, you're really easy to get a price of, but it's impossible to get you to come collect the money. I don't know what to say. <laughs> 42 bucks, I'll be back in 10 minutes. <laughs> it looks like a t this could be a picnic table cloth and a skirt all at once. Hey, boo boo, how about a picnic basket for you? That's a good it, box. Yeah, that's, that's, a good, that's over a thousand bucks in my opinion. At one box? I think so. Oh, they're a little... Mm, they're not bad. I would still honestly ask 20 bucks for that. I'm not kidding. Please place... See, it's old. It's, 
I'm gonna ask 50 bucks for the set. It don't hurt to ask. Well, I'm gonna get it. Now I'm gonna ask 75. You know what I just noticed now that I'm staring at your shirt is you once again, did you make my yellow sweater? No, it's in the house. Liz, oh. did you make his yellow sweater? Make... Let me use your filetto, cut it out. We're gonna go up here with this angle now. Look how high up you are. I'm not high Do you up. feel tall? I feel short, still. I cut it, Mike. Dang, this is... Sharpen your knife, dude. Uh-oh. <coughs> Sniff it in. Stop it. It's a dusty box. Oh, more clothes. Would you look at that? We have a. Look at that one, Mike. Chris, I remember her. That's nice. You remember Chris? No. Oh, I'm gonna put this in your van too. I want a shirt as well, so you can make me a shirt and a sweater. I brought my own shirt. The yellow one was a sweater? Yellow one is a sweater. Plastic bags, napkin, I mean, a uh, little, look like paper towel thingies. I've abandoned my search for truth. I'm now looking for a good fantasy. <laughs> I like that one. It's a nice shirt. That, nice. More rags, holy. Cross soccer, SF1. People were really liking SF1. sheets the other day. I don't know what that was anything. They but. love the antique sheets. Oh, look at this. What is this? That's all it is, it's a shelf. All the way down. There goes your wooden basket. Wooden, wooden sword basket. basket. Is it a toupee? It is a toupee. Or is it a she tip? called her Claudia. Claudia? Hey, this is Claudia. Neck brace. Is it, is it all just plastic pieces at that point? Um. It looks like so. Well, we want to make sure we don't want to not. We don't want to miss something. Don't just leave that in there. You could be missing out of the hundred grand right now. This is an old garbage can. Well, everything in here is technically... Technically 70s, right? Ooh, ready for it? I was ready born ready. They taped it up. Look at that. Mmm, costume jewelry. Buttons. Ooh. They are like buttons. See? Is that plastic? No, it's not plastic. Almost looks like a YouTube lock. I think it might yeah. be. Oh, this is vintage material. Ooh. What in the world? This is so articulate. Ooh. Those are pricey. Those are very pricey right there. They look like bake light almost. Nice. Could we maybe put them all in there? We're gonna put them all in. Whole bag of green earrings. Very vintage. I think it's weird the way they did this look. See how they have this special, like the ribbons, like. Choose, oh, what, look, choose the, what velcro the, you want. The earring has the, the material on it. L.A. mood. Oh. <laughs> La mode black. Some random buttons. Button earrings. <laughs> oh, another Dutch helm. Dutch helm. Mm. Buttons. Cool. Citrine. 50 cents. Well, everything was 50 cents back then. You can buy a button for 50 cents now. Ooh, what the heck? You see this bag? Oh, those are kind of neat. Those are extremely neat. Those are beautiful. Let's open them. Scavale. That's beautiful. Hair tie. Look at this hair tie, babe. Beautiful. This huh? piece really ties the unit together. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't drop it on my. I won't. More buttons. Mo buttons. Something on the bottom. Lots more buttons. Nice. We will definitely put these in one of our auctions, I guess. That'll be the place for these. I know that there's going to be some comments on those buttons. 
Oh, and I'm man. sure we're gonna find more things like this at some point. Oh yeah, for sure we will. Look at that. It's, a, it's, that, it's that orb. It's an uncut diamond, six carats. Pirates, we got a lot more videos to go. I think I'm gonna wrap it up on this box. So much more to go, because we're only like this much into this trailer. This trailer is as big as a storage unit. Would you guys like to say any final words for this video? Stay tuned, baby. Stay tuned, baby. It's getting good. Are you talking to her? We do love your comments as well. Com we love good comments too. Yeah, all comments. Go. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you coming. We're gonna finish going on. I'm gonna start another video here in a moment as well. Don't forget to go to Alex's channel and Little Mama's channel. They put out videos. That Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. See y'all soon.